Hey guys, with the beginning of the fall, it did not really get any less hot in Paris. And it doesn't matter that this is all about football but not the weather. Everyone expected Leo Messi to score the first goal in his debut at Parc des Princes. Although he was really close to finding his goal in that game, he was eventually remembered not for this. In today's video, we'd like to tell and show you everything about his debut at the home venue, as well as his controversial reaction to the substitution and observing the team's winning goal from the bench. In the meantime, like this video for Leo to score his debut goal in the next match and subscribe to the channel as we're always having a real good time over here together. We say vamos and let's start the show! Leo Messi has been a PSG player for more than a month, but he did not have a chance to play at his home stadium in front of loyal PSG fans until September 19. Just imagine how much the fans desired to finally see the Argentinian in action live in the French capital. Added to the interest was the fact that Leo had not yet scored goals for the Parisians. The opportunity to observe Messi's debut goal for PSG was excited for the fans even more. Moreover, the Paris team played against Lyon that day, so this match definitely was the main event of the Liga 1 match week. We have to admit that the fans really did not disappoint already during the squad announcement, as they clearly showed how much they were waiting for the game and Messi's appearance. As we already know, Leo failed to score, but he looked very decent in that game. He made three shots in goal, created two goal opportunities for his teammates, and also made three successful dribbles. And it was especially noticeable when Messi had a goal-scoring opportunity after a heel pass from Neymar, as well as Leo's crazy free kick right into the crossbar. The Argentinian can definitely take credit for this help. In the second half, however, the Brazilians were the ones to come to the fore. Lucas Paqueta scored for Lyon, and Neymar answered with a penalty for the Parisians, which was actually earned by Ney himself. It seems that we received a partial answer as to who will be the team's regular penalty taker. In one of the previous videos, we predicted that Neymar has the best chances for this position, and it seems we guessed it right. But that's a slightly different story. Though nobody expected what's going to happen only 10 minutes after PSG equalized the score as Maurizio Pochettino decided to substitute Messi. First, Leo looked a little surprised, but when he passed the coach, he even refused to shake the coach's hand and said something to him in return. That is certainly not the best way to start working together between player and coach. And guys, do you think the fact of replacing Messi might be the reason to cause some scandals within the team? And what can all this eventually lead to? Let us know your opinion in the comments. After the match, the PSG coach commented on the incident as follows. We have to make the choice of the starting squad before coming onto the pitch. Then in the game, we are thinking about what is best for the team and for each player. Sometimes the decisions are positive, sometimes they are not. But that's the main reason the coach stands next to the bench, to make decisions. You might like it or not. I asked him how he felt, and he said that everything is fine and nothing wrong happened, Pochettino said. We are curious if that decision to replace Messi could become fatal for the Argentine coach's career in Paris. After the substitution, Leo's look was speaking for himself, as he was very dissatisfied with it and was probably upset with his overall performance in the second half of the game. This was especially noticeable when he was talking to Paredes on the bench. One of the most intriguing moments became the period when PSG snatched a victory in the last minutes of the game, thanks to Mari Cardi's successful strike. When they showed us the bench, all the players jumped to their feet and began to rejoice madly at the goal the team had scored. Everyone, except Leo. He got to his feet only after a while and applauded the scored goal rather unwillingly. It's obvious that Messi would like to be on the pitch at this moment and be involved in the victory directly, but we are sure that with such a mindset he will score plenty of goals and assists in the near future. And we will closely follow this. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. We also suggest you check out the video on our Bamosito channel, the one that is before your eyes right now, and also make sure to subscribe if you like it. Let us know what you think about this whole situation at PSG. We'll read all the comments. Goodbye everyone, and we'll see you soon.